Okay, so a slight tweak to what we normally do, right? See if you can figure out what we're trying to accomplish. Now I will just straight out say the actual, you know, linchpin of this combo is not actually in the deck. And the reason for that is it's it's not yet functional on Felt Table or Talashir, but it is such a it's it's the most ridiculous card ever printed, right? Full stop. And you'll you'll see why. And it has more uses than just this combo as well. But yeah, see if see if you can you can guess. But Let's begin, right? So like usual, we're comboing. So we're just trying to draw through our deck, maintain a healthy hand size, if not go positive. So where to start? I'm actually gonna ditch the tenants since obviously we have no chi and I don't know if we'll draw into chi at a relatively quickly pace, right? So right now we can tome off of it and then we have the 100 wins for the Art of War as well. So yeah, that seems decent to me. So we'll get rid of that. Pass, and then that allows us to play the tome, maintain our hand. Oh, we actually got Roar the Tiger, so that's fantastic. So we'll Roar, generate a Crouching Tiger, which now allows us to play the Arm of War, Banish, and we'll take the buff. So all our Crouching Tigers now also have two. Oh, look at that, we actually got another one, right? So they get one from the Arm of War and plus one from Roar the Tiger, and make that four, right? So again, another Crouching Tiger, and then another Art of War. Pass, Banish, buff again and we will get rid of the Crouching Tiger. So we're at three, that's kind of risky, but no, we're not because now we're back to four cards. Although we're about to go back to three, God. Okay, this is lining up perfectly. So we can cash out, right? We will definitely get rid of the crown. I really don't think I need the resources from Blood Sense, nor the Tiger Strike or any other weapons. So we'll definitely grab the five silver, pass, and then we'll cash in off of the said silver, go back to a four hand size, pass, we hit, Golgarian Tome, just cycle, see what we get before we make any conscious choice. Homage is nice, because now we have Chi, which actually allows us to now Zen. So we can pitch the Chi, we get to find a combo card. Can you figure out what I'm trying to do yet? 100 wins, plus generate Crouching Tiger, which now allows us to Art of War, banish and maintain our power buff, get rid of the Crouching Tiger, keep our hand size. Do we stir the pot? That's the question. Right, I don't think there's anything else I need Chi for. Actually, there is. I, I want Chi for the Sacred Art. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll get rid of 100 wins with the silver. See what we draw. <laughs> okay, so yeah, it's definitely a shuffle. Generate the Chi, then it's the Sacred Art. Pitch the Chi. We will then create two Crouching Tigers. Oh wait, no, we get to pick all three. Look at our hand size. We can then get rid of the Chi, hopefully draw something, Roar the Tiger. I mean, to be honest, this is, is probably as good as it needs to be. And yeah, it could be a lot more insane, but now it's basically just Crouching Tiger, seven. Cool, block, block. Exhaust almost the entirety of the hand to another Crouching Tiger. Into four, into, you guessed it, another Crouching Tiger for a seven. Uh, and then I think we'll go 100 wins for a six. And then another 100 wins for a six. And well, seven actually, got because we got the buff. And then we also get a third 100 wins because of Zen. So, yeah, I would say this is a low roll too because the big linchpin card, right? But we'll go on a little tangent first before we actually jump to the deck that we are actually making. So I know Enigma has done really well in testing, but with the cards that are coming out, Zen is, is getting just monstrous, monstrous cards. So, right, we have three cards in hand. More importantly, we have Dishonor. Dishonor is now insanely easy to play. So we have Shifting Winds of the Mystic Beast. When you play a Crouching Tiger this turn, name a card. It gets that name. If a Chi was pitched to play this, create two Crouching Tigers in your hand and go again. Unfortunately, this is, you know, a recent spoiler, so it's not yet up and running. But if you can probably guess, we're, we're, we're right to go. Blossom Spring is the one resource. We play Shifting Winds. We then Predatory Strike, get three Crouching Tigers meaning that we can now play one, name it Surging Strike, play one, name it Descendant Gust Wave, name one, Bond of Ancestry, play Dishonor. But that is the simplest form. It's not the most insane form. See, if we had Chi, we could Zen, we could create a Crouching Tiger in hand, and more importantly, we could search our deck for a card with combo, banish it, and have it ready to play. So this in hand with a little bit of Chi, right? Whether or not that Chi goes into this to generate two Crouching Tigers, or it goes into Zen, where we're super easy just to, to pull off Dishonor. But it is also a bit of a tangent, right? But also a misdirect. So this card with what we just showed off before, can you, can you connect the dots? So from recollection, what did we do? We played three Crouching Tigers into 300 wins. Now, what does 100 wins say? 
it gets plus one for each hundred wins on the chain. Meaning, shifting wins of the Mystic Beast is more like 100 wins of the Crouching Tiger. Because if you name it 100 wins, while it itself does not get the buff, if you can get a bunch of Crouching Tigers through means like Predatory Strike, you can turn 100 wins into the ultimate finisher. Again, you can search one out, but even in the scenario we did with the buffs, Roar of the Tiger and Art of War, we did what? It was like 777678. Right? But it would actually be 77710. And we do this right? No, it'd be 9, then 10, then 11. Right? So instead of the, the Drinthia who fully blocked from hand being on 8, they'd be 6 feet under. Yeah. And again, it's, it's not the most insane the deck can get. So why don't we, since it doesn't quite functionally work just yet, and I will definitely show off the damage because it is insane once the cards are implemented, but we'll go over what you can run in the deck. And this is by far probably going to be the, the, the most playable combo that we have ever shown off because this card is absolutely disgusting and it's not alone. Okay, so here we are, the 100 Tigers deck list. And unlike Eradicate New, I'll remember to put this in the description this time. But so we have 100 wins. Again, this is the big linchpin, right? So I, haven't, I wasn't even running it in the deck because again, it's not functional. But if we add all these cards to the deck, and here's the other super busted card that, that Zen has now got, Tooth and Claw. But yeah, this, this almost fills up the deck and it's already a, it's a mix of obviously 100 wins and Crouching Tiger, but it just feels like a super actual playable deck with a, again, monstrous payoff. I mean, if you can generate a ton of Crouching Tiger, which there are definitely ways to do it, and then you can buff them. Right? You don't have to take the Art of War, the Roar of the Tiger chain. You can just play Roar of the Tiger, right? And that's your, your Crouching Tigers. You know, skies are literally the limits, right? This is the ultimate win deck. Because all these cards can just be inflated so grossly, right? Ancestral Harmony, it buffs the 100 wins. Art of War buffs everything. Roar of the Tiger buffs the Crouching Tigers. Zen itself generates a Crouching Tiger, allows you to find a combo card, whether that is Tiger Swipe or 100 wins. Not to mention the new card, Tooth and Claw. When this attacks, you may reveal any number of Crouching Tigers from your hand. If you revealed one or more, this gets go again. Two or more, plus one. Three or more, draw a card. Not on hit. It just gets draw a card. If you have three Crouching Tigers in hand, Tooth and Claw becomes a 0-5 cycle. That is insane. Right? That is just absolutely disgusting with what we're doing. Now, we did go on a very perfect draw chain, draw sequence. I mean, we didn't even use Tome, we pitched Tome. So there is, it is it is definitely workable. And these combos just feed into one another so well. Ancestral Empowerment, again, off of Tooth and Claw. Suddenly it's cycle two for six damage. Exhaust something from hand, exhaust some equipment, and then go into, again, you know, even if it's just three Crouching Tigers into 300 wins. It's, it's that simple for, again, a monstrous amount of damage. And, you know, you throw in Ancestral Harmony, you just have the Royal Tigers and the Art of Wars. It's this card. This card is busted, right? There are so many cards that are coming that I, I don't see how they don't have knock-on effects, right? 100 wins, I could see being banned just because this into all the other combo cards is, is very dynamic. It's very interesting. Again, it makes D Dishonor a really workable thing since you can search it out with Zen. But the simple fact that now you can play all your Crouching Tigers and they can then lead into a zero that puffs itself. God, that is, that is absolutely disgusting. Not to mention then, you know, if you don't want 100 wins, find Tiger Swipe, play a bunch of Crouching Tigers, then play Tiger Swipe, play, you know, a few 100 wins and another Crouching Tiger, Tiger Swipe. It's just, this, this deck seems so busted to me, right? And I don't even have all the tents of the first moon. There's just so much draw potential in this as well. Again, Art of War off Crouching Tigers, whether it be raw to actually get the buff and then cycle, or some of the other Mystic cards to generate. We're, we're still 14 slots away, and you could just fill it with normal, powerful, playable cards that aren't your draw. I, I Like usual, I take cash in as positive for hand size, because it's to me, it's, it's just such a big benefit. But you don't need to. 100 wins with Crouching Tiger will definitely be a thing. If it's not this extreme, it will just be used for its its dynamicism, right? Again, one one shifting wins with a chi card, right? Gets you two crouching tigers. 
Those two crouching tigers could then feed into the, your 100 wins. And all of a sudden, if you can play four, right? 100 wind is getting two, the other 100 wind is getting three. And again, depending on buffs, if you've swung with Zen's weapon, if you don't take the harmonized Kadachis, if you're running Tiger Stripe Shugo, it's just, it's going to be super powerful turn after super powerful turn. And I do think Zen is probably the front runner for just gross, grossness, right? Out of the three. I know Enigma is super, super tough because of how much you can generate and just the ward board, right? That blocks and does everything it needs to do. But Zen is is just an insane aggro deck. We will be back when this is actually functional because I want I want to hit I don't know how much just an insane amount of hundred wins right. If we could if you know if you run predatory strike and you just stash them nine nine tigers into one hundred wins is still with all the buffs if you get them off is still more than enough right. That would be what two damage per if it's just one roar and out of out of war right. So nine times two is eighteen. Plus then the 100 wins is doing an extra nine. Yeah. And that's just one Roar of the Tiger, one Art of War. Roar of the Tiger definitely should have been in your banish zone. But yeah. Tiger wind, 100 Tigers, whatever you want to call it. It's it's going to be disgusting. And I'm going to have so much fun playing it. I need to now fish up a Tiger Stripe Shuko. So, God, I've been going through sets, <laughs> opening the cards I want, like Shimmer for, uh, for Enigma. Crown, because I just won a, a Cold Fall Crown. I had a Rainbow Fall one, but I guess I gotta crack my uprising and find myself a, a Tiger Stripe Shuko. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. See ya.